Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Colton and today's video is all about the Instax Wide 300. So the Instax Wide 300 is the largest format camera that you can shoot on Instax film. Um, it shoots, as it indicates, a wide picture. So you can get Instax wide film for this. And because the film is so big, the camera is honking too. Uh, this is the biggest Instax camera I've ever shot on. I think it's the biggest one they've ever made, although don't hold me to that. But this camera is an absolute blast to shoot. Um, when shooting on this camera, the grip is absolutely massive. It feels great to hold. Um, also, it's just a, <laughs> it's like a interesting experience. People will definitely want their picture taken with this camera. Um, there's really not much as far as any kind of buttons or anything that are on the camera. You really just have a button to take the picture slash turn on the camera. You have a, you know, sort of dial here to adjust how uh, the focusing will be. Um, in terms of if your subject is very close or very far away. Um, and then the only other buttons are really on the back side here. You have a button for flash, and then you have an L and D button as well. So um, that's honestly pretty much it other than the uh, door to put your film in. So pretty simple camera, very much a point and shoot style camera, but honestly, it is a lot of fun to shoot. The fact that it's so big does make it kind of cumbersome to carry around, but in a way that's also kind of the charm of the camera. And I'll definitely say bringing this to a party is great. A lot of times people will bring like an Instax mini camera to a party and it can be sometimes hard to get your friends all in the same shot. And so, um, you know, sometimes you'll turn the camera sideways to shoot, which for whatever reason irritates me. I can't stand an Instax picture that is sideways. I always want the bigger white part of the frame to be at the bottom. Character flaw in me, I know, um, but that's totally solved when you're shooting the wide format because it's already wide and then the frame is thickest at the bottom and it's so easy to get all of your friends into the shot and really capture the atmosphere of a party. So that is where I actually tend to shoot this camera the most. Um, also great if you're walking around town and you're shooting on some other camera to bring this along with you, strap it to your shoulder and occasionally get a few shots on this as well. So I'll share a few pictures that I've taken on this camera. I did also have the benefit of getting to take it to a model shoot that I got to play around at. And one thing I learned at that shoot is that because this viewfinder is so far to the side, you do need to compensate in how you angle this camera to take a picture, because if you base it solely off of this viewfinder, your image will be shifted further to one side than you intended. So my experience was shooting with a backdrop. Several shots ended up with the backdrop um, you know, sort of behind it being exposed. And so I had to readjust to make sure I was shooting a little further to the right than I meant to so that I would get shots that didn't have anything but the backdrop in the background. So a little bit of a quirk uh, that most Instax cameras have. This one just, I think, has it a little bit more of an extreme because of the positioning, but totally workable once you kind of get the hang of it. Um, one project I definitely would like to do in the future is pick up an Instax wide printer and take some of the medium format shots that I've done and print them out on an Instax wide picture, which I know some of you will say is total blasphemy to not only take shots that come directly out of the camera, but my personal opinion is you are the artist, you decide what format to display your artwork in, and if you wanna take a picture on a medium format camera or a digital camera and print it out and display it that way, totally the same as getting an eight by 10 printed or making a zine. That's my opinion. Um, you can let me know if you disagree with that. Um, but yeah, this camera is a lot of fun. You should be able to get them pretty cheap. They do still sell them for like, I think 80 to 100 bucks. 
Um, I'm just like guessing off the top of my head from what I remember. Um, but you can actually find these for like $20. Um, if you really look hard or you check thrift stores, things like that, um, you know, people selling it on Facebook Marketplace, then you can find these pretty cheap. Um, there's also older versions of this camera as well that you can pick up that shoot the wide format also. So um, definitely another route that you could take in terms of getting this camera cheaply. Um, but I would definitely recommend it if you enjoy shooting Instax film, this is great. Comparable to uh, Polaroid's kind of wider format, which is, um, I have a Polaroid image spectra, I think is what the camera is called, and it shoots a wide frame. I think this one actually shoots a wider frame, um, but comparable in terms of the size if you're used to that particular camera. So anyway, this is my short video just gushing over the Instax Wide 300. Um, and let me know if you have this camera, what your experiences have been shooting it, or if you're shooting a different Instax camera that you think I should check out, let me know in the comments below too. I've never shot an Instax square format, so I would be curious to maybe try one of those cameras out. Um, but anyway, yeah. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content surrounding um, instant film, hit the subscribe button. And uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one.